Hello folks, let's unbox a keyboard here. I'm unboxing Sequencer keyboard from Omen by HP. Let's remove the cling wrap first. Don't mind the sounds. Let's do a quick examine of the box first. Keyboard comes in a very sturdy packing with a red accent with sequencer and omen written on top left followed by the optical mechanical keyboard written beneath it. Sequencer keyboard also boasts about the 10x faster response time which I will explain in this video. There's a very neat cutout made on the box so anyone can test the click feel without opening the box. It shows how much the company knew people would like their product. Turning the packing over, there are some features highlighted in various languages in the packing which you can read built in USB port, additional macro keys, oversized spacebar, gaming mode, volume roller bar, media keys and the dedicated Omen Commander center key. Coming over to the high response rate, Sequencer achieves that by using a light beam detection which enables 0.2 microseconds response time claiming to be 10 times faster than ordinary mechanical switch keyboard and this keyboard houses blue switches. This keyboard also supports individual backlit which means you can have different color for every key and we have five dedicated macro keys and although they say it's uh, lightweight the keyboard is pretty heavy with the aluminium frame it has a dedicated volume roller bar uh, which is quite unique and it looks good. Keyboard supports 100% anti-ghosting with N key rollover, meaning you can press all the keys and still you won't get a missed key. Let's do the actual unboxing of the keyboard. Uh, first we'll have to remove the four stickers. Now let's see what we have inside the box. Let's first get the keyboard out of the box first. Although they say it's lightweight, the keyboard is pretty heavy with the aluminium frame, but the feel is very premium. Let's first put this aside and see what else we have inside the packing. We have one packet inside the box uh, which houses some very good looking omen stickers. They come in two sizes. HP support and warranty information and the actual manual uh, which has very simple instructions on how to download the omen command center software in different languages and that's about all. Now let's unwrap the keyboard and see what beauty lies there. The wrap is tucked under some of the keys. Those are the same keys which you can try even before opening it. This is how the sequencer keyboard looks. It has a very unique futuristic design with the red volume roller on the top right side and indeed a very thick spacebar. You may notice there is the home key and that is missing in this keyboard. While it's a gaming keyboard, the WASD keys are bordered in white. WASD, you can see they are bordered in white. The cable is very thick and robust. It comes with two USB ports. One is for the keyboard and second is for the USB port which is located on the keyboard. It acts as a pass-through cable. There's a dedicated Omen button which will open the command center and uh, five macro buttons on the left hand side which you can customize as per your desire and pressing the keys you can so you can get a good idea about the feedback of the keyboard let me take out a key and show you the blue switch the anodized aluminium frame really looks and feels great the space bar is really big which gives a unique look along with the red volume roller you can see the feel and look in this view it feels really premium. 
mean good Foreman has left no effort in giving a good design to the underneath of the keyboard with their red logo and a pattern design in two legs for support and all sides are covered with rubber so the body doesn't directly touch the surface damaging the keyboard or the surface if you are planning to keep the keyboard somewhere hard. This is the volume roller comes with a dedicated mute volume button on the left. Let's put back the switch. Placing the key back on the switch is very simple. Just just line it back on the top and push it in. It will just settle down. Let's connect the keyboard so we can see the RGB in action and what all color combinations it has to offer. The Omen Command Center comes with various pre-built settings which you can use or make your own. Let me cycle through all the settings which we have inside Omen Command Center related to RGB. What you see at the left bottom corner is the Omen Command Center as I toggle different color settings. The animation settings you can toggle through the software or by pressing the function key and numeric key from 1 to 8 which will also highlight once you will press the function key as you can see. In all these effects, Ripple is my favorite because it looks very crazy. You can't use it, but good enough. No? <laughs> With the room lights on, the RGB is still visible, but it's not very bright, maybe like the Chinese counterparts. The caps lock, num lock indicators sit neatly above the arrow keys. There's also a dedicated volume key next to the volume roller, as I have also mentioned earlier. Let's hear some click sounds again. Oh, and spacebar has no RGB backlight, no idea why, nor anyone mentioned this but for some reason the spacebar comes without any RGB the spacebar has a very funky and unpleasant feedback to it as well The dedicated USB port is on the left side of the keyboard and it is neatly placed. It can be used to charge your devices or even connect devices for data transfers. That is very good. Like currently I have connected my headphones from which I am recording this video through the same USB port on the keyboard and it works fine. The drawback of the aluminium body is that it can get dirty. So you'll have to keep it clean. You can see there's already mark on the space bar and I've just taken it outside the box. Otherwise, it's a very good keyboard. 
and I will highly recommend this. That's all. If there's anything else, just let me know. Thank you.